Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. In this video, we are going to make a model box or pop-up that will appear whenever you are going to leave the website. You must have seen this type of pop-up on some website that display the offers. These pop-up will be displayed when you will move the mouse outside of the web page to change the tab or to close the tab. Here on my website you can see when I move the mouse outside of the web page, it display the pop-up that have some offers information. On this pop-up, we have this close icon to close this pop-up. We will make this mouse leave model box or pop-up a step by step using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images and in this one you can see one icon and one image that I will be using on the website. You can find these images download link in the video description. Let me open these files with my code editor. Here I am using Visual Studio code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this title and this link tag to connect the CSS file. Now we will add the code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container. Now just add this class name here in the CSS file. For this container we will add the width and height. Then we will add background image and in this one we will add linear gradient color. Let's add 45 degree then first color code then comma second color code. After adding this come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this gradient color on this web page. Now let's come back and come to the HTML file. After this container div we will add another div with the id model box. In this one we will add one image so write img tag and the file path of the image and for this image we will add the width. 100%. After that we will create one div with the class name offer text. In this offer text we will add one title in h2. So this is the title. Get 15% off. Then we will add some text in a small tag. After that we will add text in p tag which is paragraph text. And next we will add one form. In this form we will add one input field. Input type will be email and placeholder email address. Then we will add one button to submit this form. So button type will be submit and the button text is subscribe. After adding this again come back to the website. You can see it is at the bottom the image and other text. Now just come back and copy this id model box write it here with the hashtag. Now. For this one we will add the position fixed, top 50%, left 50% and transform, translate minus 50% and minus 50%. So it will be in the center. Then we will add the width, it is 80% and maximum width 400 pixel. Then we will add the background, it will be white and border radius 5 pixel and overflow hidden. Now you can see it is in the center of the web page. You can see the fixed size for the image and other text. Now just come back and copy this class name offer text, write it here in this CSS file. For this offer text, we will add some space. So we are adding padding. Then we will change the font size and we will change the line height. After that we will add the CSS for the title. So again add this class name offer text then write h2 for the title. For this title we will increase the font size and font weight. Then we will add margin bottom. So you can see change size for the title. Now again come back and here we will add the CSS for a small tag. For this small tag we will add display inline block and we will change the color. Then we will change the font weight. And we need a space at the bottom so we will add margin bottom. So this small text is also looking good. Now we will add CSS for the form. 
so you can see in this form we have input and button so let's come to this css file here we will add offer text then form for this form we will add a space on the top so we will add margin top then we will add display flex and background then we will add border radius so you can see some changes here just come back and again write this one then write input for the email input field here we will add flex 1 and uh, we will add border 0 outline 0 then we will add background transparent next we will add some space inside the input box so we will add padding so it looks good next we will add the css for the button which is subscribe button so again write this class name and form then button for this button we will add border 0 outline 0 and cursor pointer then we will add the background in this background we will add this color code and here we will add the color white which is the text color then we will add space inside the button with padding then border radius after adding this this button looks good here we will add one close icon so just come back and after this offer text here we will add one img write the file path close.png and here we will add one class name close icon next we will add the css for this close icon write this class name here and here we will add the width then write height and border radius 50 percent position will be absolute then top 15 pixel write 15 pixel and cursor pointer after adding this again come back to the website you can see this close icon here now we have designed this uh, offer box next we have to hide this one so just come back and in this model box here we will add display none so it will be hidden you can see this model box is hidden so now we have to display it whenever we will take cursor outside of the web page so just come back and here just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag then write let model box equal to document dot get element by id and write the id model box here we are creating one variable then we will add document dot on mouse lib so whenever we will move the mouse outside of the web page it will run this function so we have to add css for this one model box dot style dot display equal to block so whenever we will add a style dot display block it will be visible again so you can see when i take cursor outside of this web page this pop-up is displaying and when i refresh the website it disappear so this mouse leave is working fine next we have to hide this pop-up after clicking on this close icon for that we will come back to the html file and in this img we will add on click equal to close model next we have to define this function so within this script here we will add function close model and just copy this line and add it here here we will add none that's it so whenever we will click on that close icon it will run this function and it will set the display none that's it after adding this again come back to the website and if i move cursor out of the web page it is displaying the pop-up and if i click on this close icon it will hide the pop-up let's move the cursor out of the browser again it is displaying the pop-up and if i click on close icon it is hiding this pop-up so this mouse leave model box or pop-up is working fine i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video